Good day, everyone. This is Grom Grom. Welcome to my channel. This is my aloe maculata, also known as soap aloe. The name soap aloe was derived from the fact that the sap from the thick fleshy leaves can be used as a soap substitute. It has a sword-shaped leaves that have sets of leaves around a central rosette. The slightly serrated edges and thick waxy coated foliage has a white and green patterns. The slender flower stalks rise in multiple to display pendulous creamy salmon colored tubular flowers. I inherited my soap aloe from a neighbor who relocated out of state. It has outgrown the pot, so I repotted it in a bigger pot. Because of this plant's beauty and resilience, I started propagating the plant to populate my garden or give it away to appreciative friend. The fun thing about the plant is the ability to produce fully vegetative babies or suckers for propagation. These suckers are clones that grow from the stem or roots of the parent plant. I separate these suckers from the parent plant. I plant them in small containers until I am ready to replant them in bigger pots. I repot my soap aloes in containers with a lot of drainage using a well-drained potting soil. them in a bright sunny place I water the plants once every two weeks I let the water dry out between watering is a stylish and practical addition as a houseplant. It is ideal for home or garden where space is limited. It can tolerate infrequent watering by storing moisture in their leaves and conserving it.
the colorful flowers and interesting foliage is an evergreen succulent that will last throughout the year. With fewer caring needs compared to other houseplants capable of blooming, soap aloe is in the spotlight for beginner gardeners.